I could not give two shits about the Power Rangers. They are after my time. I remember watching the show as uh, maybe 18 year old and thinking, this is stupid. It was not something that I ever enjoyed except for making fun of it. Uh, my apologies to those out there who grew up with it and love it and think that it's Shakespeare. It, it you know, in, in my youth, it would have been Ninja Turtles probably would have been the equivalent. Uh, so Power Rangers is not a thing I ever cared about. But when they announced a big screen version of it, a more grounded version of Power Rangers, that piqued my interest. Uh, what we got out of it was this 2017 big screen adaptation, which bombed spectacularly and uh, set up sequels that will never happen. This is my favorite version of the Power Rangers. I don't care at all about the TV show. I don't care at all about the, the other movies. Um, this is my favorite version. It presents... A world I some kids that I can believe in that I can believe are real kids um, they're not martial artists unless they're power rangers they're not they, they they go to a high school I can believe is real they get into trouble this is a I mean it, a lot of people say it's like power rangers meets breakfast club that is an apt description of it you know, they all meet in detention. They've all got chips on their shoulders. You know, uh, uh, the Pink Ranger's in, in detention because she spread naked pictures of her friend online. Uh, this is a, this is a, 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 these are real kids you feel like. Um, they, they show that the Yellow Ranger is bisexual. They show that the Blue Ranger is autistic. Um, it's it's by no means a great movie, but for a sort of big screen superhero movie, it is. Uh, I would put it up there with like the lower end of the Marvel movies. I'd put it up there with like an Iron Man 2. It's, it presents this world that I, and you know, a lot of people, they complain, oh, they don't become the Power Rangers till the end of the movie. So boring. And Elizabeth Banks is like hamming it up as Rita Repulsa. First of all, if you're, if you're complaining about somebody hamming it up in a Power Rangers movie, I don't know what you want. And you can say it doesn't fit the tone of the rest of the movie. They make Rita Repulsa more... Uh, she's darker. Yeah, she's hamming it up. She's having fun. But she's nowhere near what she was on the show. Uh, the plot, who cares? You know, it's five teenagers. They find magic medallions and they... they become protectors of the world and ride big giant dinosaurs that join together in a big robot. The end. That's, that's the story of the movie. And for a movie aimed at teenagers, it doesn't have to be anything more than that. You could say, well, you know, you, you should give it substance and, 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 and just because it's for teenagers doesn't mean it needs to be stupid. I don't think it is a stupid movie. I think this does present teenagers with some challenges as far as you know morality as far as you know these like I said showing different uh, kids from different backgrounds with different issues um, and how to interact with them in a way that is um, you know where you can you can find common ground where you can join together as a team despite your differences 
I I thought it was I thought it was really good. It's really fun. And this comes from a guy who's not a Power Rangers fan. Um you know, again, a lot of people complain about the tone. Oh, it's too dark. And then they turn around and they go, "Oh, but you know, uh, look at the coincidence that these kids all happen to be in the same place at the same time. The, is it too dark or is it too sort of like, you know, because I mean, like the original Power Rangers, they would not have had a, a problem with coincidences and all oh, these characters just so happen to be in the same place at the same time. And this always felt to me like it was a movie that was doomed by it to be to be hated and destroyed and picked apart long before it came out um i do blame our sort of movie culture of everybody's a critic and the best way to get clicks is to shit all over something um now that doesn't mean so some people didn't like it just because they didn't like it but to say that it's a poorly made movie or a bad movie, I think is going way too far. It is, and I think it's also not taking into account the audience that it is aimed for. You get a lot of people who are my age uh, or who, who are looking back and going, that's not my Power Rangers. No, it's not. It's for a new generation. And it was always for younger people. I think that's the thing that we forget a lot whenever somebody says, it's not my Star Wars, or that's not my Little Mermaid, or that's not my whatever. Uh, if they're going to reinterpret it, they're going to reinterpret it for people who, were, who are the age that you were when the original thing came out. They're not going to make it for you at your age, nor should they. It should be aimed at new generations. And as something aimed at a new generation, I think Power Rangers absolutely works. Three out of five stars. For a Power Rangers movie, this is, to me, the best version of what these characters ever were. You know, they're not silly cartoon characters. They're real kids with real issues who are who, who find themselves in, the, in these extraordinary circumstances. I think that that's compelling and interesting and fun. And don't be put off by all the negativity that surrounded this movie. Seek it out. It's, you know, it's, it's not going to change your life, but it's a good two hours uh, of your time to to have some fun and watch some robots fight some big monsters.